All right, here's a FRC team 3134 and 3275 update. I'm not even sure what week we are anymore, but we're getting close. So, um, we have our climber in a box mounted on there. We've took it down to week zero and climbed with it, did, did a good job. Uh, one thing that we noticed could happen uh, is the notes can get caught on our hook. And before we put this little surgical tubing on there, um, they'd slide down. We couldn't get them off. But that's our temporary, maybe permanent solution to keep things from getting stuck on the robot. Um, it's just a cut down climber in a box with a little custom hook on there. Kind of locks into the chain. Uh, 125 to 1 on that. Um, we changed up our shooter wheels. It was coming out and it was kind of flattening out. Um, we're flipping through the air. So now we have the three on one side and one on the other side. Uh, more of frisbee like um, action out of the notes as they come out of here. Um, got our limelight mounted and we are working on some programming to do some automatic aiming and possibly shooting with it and that'll probably happen this weekend kind of got a graph of shooting locations and stuff and using the uh, the mega pose or whatever it's called with the limelight to uh, get that functioning we upgraded from our lead screw to a ball screw we want a 12 to 1 um, just got some soft limits in there we're gonna throw in some of these big old limit switches on there just as a safety precaution. Uh, it seems a lot more stable um, running that up and down with that ball screw instead. Um, wiring's still kind of a mess, but we're getting there cleaning that up. Playing around with some different wheels on the intake. And we got the star wheels on the front, which are kind of wearing down. To order some more of those. Uh, and then we actually 3D printed some little star wheels out of some TPU. Uh, and that actually kind of seemed to help. to kind of get that thing up off the floor if you kind of hit it with the edge of the intake. And it seems like it's been pretty good. So, uh, bumpers are made. Just got to mount them. Uh, get the permanent mount on there. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with our 3134. 3275, uh, again at week zero, they did a pretty good job. I mean, they were scoring six seven game pieces pretty consistently um with a brand new driver on on a swerve chassis so uh we're gonna recut some of these plates and add some different holes in there uh just for ease of mounting and just to make things align a little bit better so we got it kind of disassembled uh, we're gonna swap out the the green wheels for some of the orange wheels um so we want a little less compliance uh we got our new um, electronic electro board uh, cut out and things mounted to it. We just got to mount that to the robot itself. Uh, we got some bumper brackets mounted on some of the corners. Um, probably going to switch out the orange stuff and the pulleys to some gates belts. Uh, got some, just a few wheels down at the bottom there, but it sucks it in pretty good and runs it through. Uh, we just got some surgical tubing wrapped around the foam roller here. We might need to Put a little bit bigger diameter in there just to to force it through a little bit more. Um, we got rid of the Neo 550 and we put a bag motor on a 3 to 1 with a 90 degree gearbox on there just for form factor. Looks a little better, works a little better. Uh, but a pretty simple engineered robot but it seems like it's pretty effective. Uh, this one is going to get some some kind of climber uh, similar to what the girls have. It might be a double climber in the box. Uh, we have that stuff here. We just got to cut it down and figure out uh, how long that needs to be. But I don't know. Feeling pretty good about it. We're going to be in Grand Forks. It's a week two. Uh, and then come back and make some changes and head down to St. Cloud, Minnesota. Uh, week six. So got some time but that's our update for now good luck